Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the next episode. Well, in this episode we are talking about something different. Um, this episode will be a shorter one since I want to split it in two different videos where we're going into the client side and the server side. And we are starting with the server side. So since we have started um, the network movement for the player, um, we also want to add his rotational data. To add this rotational data, we need to do some calculations and also a bit of math. Since <laughs> I'm not a math teacher, I can't really explain you in detail what's going on um, or what those functions actually do. Because today we are actually going um, to add something like cosine and sine to our math calculation for the rotational data. So I, I can actually read you from Google what um, a cosine, uh, for example, is. Well, um, the trigonomic function that is equal to the ratio of the side of adjacent. <laughs> I can't even pronounce this word. Um, well, it, it is actually accurate to an angle and to the uh, hypotenuse. So basically, I hope I pronounced that wrong. Uh, correct. So what this basically means is we are using sine and cosine for our set and x axis. Okay. So basically what we are going to accomplish in the next two videos is basically we are getting the raw um, rotational data right here from our Unity client converted to a 360 degree real um, number, getting it into the server, the server recalculate it, uh, recalculate it basically and we are doing something like dividing a circle by 180 degree and i show you exactly why and we are rounding this value as well to add it to our um, position placement so our position placement we did in the last video basically is uh, where we plus equals our set and x axis or minus it or plus and minus it or the opposite way and you actually thought what the hell is going on? Why he is doing that? Well, basically, we um, prepared for this video. Um, so that's why um, I have added already all the access um, we need to have and do some weird stuff with um, plus X and minus set. Um, the reason is basically what we are doing. Um, we are getting the cosine for the positive x and z axis um, in this area right there. Okay, so this is 100 degree in the positive way. Um, the sign we are using for the negative um, side, so we minus it. So we can go minus on the z axis and minus on the x axis. So that's why also we divide the circle by 180 and um, getting it four digits to a specific number so we can actually turn the player on the server, not on the client. We are turning it on the server since we are now going through server-side collision and we are turning him um, very, very precise. So I would say without further ado and with not much talking, we should go right into um, our math calculation. Well, our math calculation basically is um, very simple. It is one line of code, but to get behind it um, was a little bit tricky to do since we are getting the, the Unity numbers converted into a real number, getting it to the server, and then doing this calculation on the set and X axis so the player can turn around by this rotational data of its angle. And uh, therefore we are going back into our input manager and um, create, um, after our try to move, we are creating two new methods or functions this time. So our first function will be our public static float and we call this convert rotation sign. 
And as a parameter, we need our float rotation from our Unity client. So add a parameter and call it float rotation. So in this next line, this will be our rotational data we are calculating. Um, and basically, uh, yeah, we, we are calculating the rotational data and convert it in the same way. So therefore, we are going to say return. And of course, we need a float. So open close bracket float. And then we say math.round. So what math.round is doing, basically, it rounds up a number to a certain amount of digits. And that is what we are doing. And um, within math round, we are also doing another math round. Okay, because we are doing now a calculation within this, which we want to round and this also we want to round to a, spe a specific number. So math round, open bracket, math round, open bracket, and now we are getting our math.sign. And in this math.sign, uh, we're taking our rotation multiplied by open bracket math.pi divided by 180. This is the circle we are basically cutting in half and getting its positive and negative number. And after two close brackets, we hit the comma and say four, since we are rounding up to four digits. And these four digits, we are rounding up again to get a precise number we actually want. So this is for our set axis in our movement script right here. Now we are doing the same for our set axis with cosine. So therefore we are getting a public static float and call this convert rotation cosine or just co and of course float rotation as a parameter and then we can copy and paste our method right here and pass it in into the new one and just change math.sign to math.cosine and that's it so now what we are doing basically is we are going to our player script um, since I have recorded this video the second time because my microphone just died or my sound card uh, changed a few values, um, I already have added to our player script a public float rotation, which we are sending from the client separate, um, not within our movement script. We send it separate from the client to the server. So we always have the rotational data from our player. Um, yeah. So that's why you add to your player class a public float rotation. Perfect. Now go back to the input manager and go into the try to move script. So after every um, calculation, you type in on the x axis convert to cosine player dot rotation. And now you're going to copy this line and add it to every x. Um, yeah, X movement calculation. Perfect. Now on the set axis, you do the same, but with sign. So convert rotation sign player dot rotation. Awesome. Now copy this and pass it in below. Awesome. Now you will be able to move your player um, on the server with rotational information. So your server basically always knows in which way the player is facing and he can walk up there um, in in any angle he wants okay so since we are not using an engine itself we are writing our own engine because it makes a lot of more fun and uh, we want to do that right <laughs> and that's how you basically add to your four-way direction like we did in the last video um, we add rotational data so we can basically move in every direction we want with our angle calculation. And how we are going to set it up, we will find out in the next video, since I want to keep those videos a little bit smaller so we can go deeper into those topics. So if you did like this video, please make sure to leave a like, leave a comment. That would help me a lot. And also make sure to go to my Discord channel, join it so we can basically chat together. If you have questions, the community will help me. Check out my homepage. And if you want to support me, you can also go to my Patreon page and yeah, be a patron.
So thank you for watching and see you guys in the next episode. Bye.